What is it? Where'd you see them? Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Give me, um, I don't know, give me like 10 minutes. Give me 15 minutes. I'll be over there as soon as I can. I got this news update I gotta do. Just give me some time. I'll be there before you fucking know it. Stay there. Don't do anything stupid. Hey everybody, XFL Jim here with my weekly news update of the week. It's a wild one out there, guys. I've spent the last, I don't know how long, I have the Rampage Tour going on and then I have this going on. I don't know what to explain, how to explain what this is. Let me tell you, there's a lot to uncover with the XFL. It's deeper than I could have ever imagined. It's deeper than any of us could have ever imagined. Let me just, I, I recorded something uh, a little while ago. Let me, let me go back to you. I have a phone call to make. Now what I found out from all of this is that this goes up way higher than any of us could have ever imagined. So let me just let me bring you up to speed of what we're dealing with here when it comes to XFL world domination and what The Rock and Danny Garcia and Redbird Capital and the XFL have been playing this whole fucking time. It's, it's all laid clear. I found, I've cracked the code. <sighs> okay, starting point. XFL is restarted by Vince McMahon in 2020. This is a big fucking deal. He restarts the XFL in 2020. He positions it in 2018, and he practices it in 2019, and they actually restart in 2020. What happens here? Oh, all of a sudden, global pandemic. But I believe, I believe it. I, I have actual physical proof that Vince McMahon was going to fuck up the league regardless. I think the pandemic helped. I think COVID helped. But I think overall, I think he was planning to maybe fucking rug pull this shit from the get-go. So what happens then? It lays dormant while they're fucking, co this cabal is secretly planning shit from the back rooms and whatnot. So the XFL trades hands. This is a major part. The Rock had to let this happen. If you watch my video on the top 10 people to, who could buy the XFL, you know for a fact that The Rock was in a bidding war with the Queen of fucking England. This goes all the way to the top, folks. It goes all the way. After that, the XFL trades hands. It lays dormant again. We get a preview video. We get 2021, 2022. Now it's 2023. But I'm getting ahead of myself here. So we have the XFL and the CFL talks. This was plan one. This is plan A for The Rock. This is plan A for the XFL to start world domination. They're going to partner up with the CFL and use the CFL's international draft to get foot soldiers in every single country in the fucking world. That was plan A. But the CFL saw this. I think that they saw this and they couldn't let it happen. So they, they scrapped that. The CFL scrapped that. Then what do we have here? His tequila... Sales soar. The Rock's Terramana tequila sales soar. Holy shit. That means he has a foothold in South America, in Mexico, and the United States as a party brand, as a billion dollar brand. The Rock is a fucking bajillionaire. He's got his fucking veins, his roots, his fingers in everywhere. Next, they lay dormant again, but they drop hints. Danny Garcia is on Instagram dropping hints left and right. Fucking like feet pics for us fucking fetishists here. Instagram owned by Facebook. Facebook has transformed into meta. XFL eventually won't be satisfied with just world domination. They're gonna own the metaverse too. It's it goes all the way, folks. Zuckerberg is in on this. Next up, while all this is going on, before The Rock even buys the XFL, we have John Cena. He's part of the Fast and Furious franchise. He has to deal with China. He has to smooth over things for China, not for the Fast franchise. That was just a fucking cover-up. It's for the XFL to eventually go into China. They were using John Cena masterfully, like a pawn, like the pawn he is. The Rock played John Cena like a fucking Fiddle. So what happens then? The seventh Fast movie with Rock comes out literally next year in 2023. The XFL comes out. The seventh Fast and Furious movie that has Dwayne The Rock Johnson in it comes in which symbolizes all seven continents. The XFL will eventually make it to all seven continents. If you exclude Antarctica, then you can include the metaverse in that. Meanwhile, we have The Rock and the XFL, Danny Garcia and Redbird Capital, talking with the NFL. They're partnering with what is now the most powerful football brand in the fucking universe. This... This just goes into a whole fucking different factor after this. So, The Rock announces the Super Bowl. What happens during that? He wears maroon, which is an off-red. XFL red team is in D.C., the home of the President of the United States of America. The Rock himself has mentioned wanting to run for President. I think this means that an off-red, that instead of D.C. and the United States, The Rock is planning for a run as president of the fucking world. One world government, new world order, led by the XFL. My eyes have been opened. It goes so much deeper than any of us could have ever 
fucking expected. Maroon, the color of the rock shirt. The word maroon comes from France. France, if you look at a world map, is the epicenter of the world. It's right there. Fucking there. He's saying it with capital fucking letters, people. The rock speech at the Super Bowl took two minutes or 120 seconds. You multiply that by 2023, the year that the XFL is coming back, you get 242,760. The population of Scottsdale, Arizona is 242,760 people. This is just the tip of the iceberg, but I think this is confirmed that the next XFL expansion team will be in Arizona, hence the Arizona hotshots. It all ties back to the AAF, folks, and it doesn't stop there. After this, the XFL NFL talks have been made public. The XFL will be testing out rules for the NFL. They're going to be testing out international relations. They're going to be dipping their toes in. I think they're playing the NFL like a fucking fiddle, people. The XFL will expand. They're going to go to Canada. They'll go to Europe. They'll go to Asia. They'll go to Australia. It's going to all fucking unfold. It's just like a fucking domino. And I think he led his he led his hand a little too much here. Maybe just buy his shirt. It's another off-red. Canada, red country. It's a red flag. I think this is expertly done by the Rock. It goes so goddamn deep. During his speech, when The Rock, in, on his Instagram, was talking about collaborating with the NFL, he used the word collaborators. What does collaborators mean in the dictionary? A person who cooperates traitorously with an enemy. Some people view the NFL as the enemy of the XFL. Why? Because they think the XFL will just turn into a forum team for the NFL. I think this is expertly done. He's using the word collaborators to show that eventually he plans on betraying the NFL and just creating an XFL-led world. The NFL, not only is that, but it's the enemy of the CFL. These are the two oldest professional football leagues going on right now. The NFL uses the XFL to destroy the CFL. There's no more CFL. That is good for the XFL. We will dominate starting in Canada. It's just, it's, it's moving along, folks. After that, the XFL sets up a team in Canada. I believe this will happen in Toronto. I have I have sources in the in the area that are basically confirming this with me. I think the XFL will move into Toronto, followed by the NFL. NFL moves in. They run the CFL out of business, folks. The CFL is no more. Sad for my brothers up in Canada. Sad for CFL Jim. But I think this is what everyone's planning right now. It's, it's it goes way higher than me. It goes higher than the garage, which is something I never expected to say in my fucking life. Next, once the XFL and NFL are global, once they have a team in Europe in Africa, in Asia, in South America, and North America, and Australia. I expect The Rock to call me to execute Plan L. I can't tell you what Plan L is right now. I am under an NDA. I can't explain that right now, but I think I'm going to get the call to activate Plan L. Spoiler alert, it has something to do with garages and the garage network. Watch my mid-year update last year. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to fucking just link it right here. I'm going to play it right now. This is the garage network. Huge universe of gyms. The way, we the way we travel, the way the gyms sort of interact with each other is you can use these things, garages right here. Garage doors are portals to another dimension. So this garage, I can go to any garage in the entire world as long as a gym is there connecting with it spiritually and uh, garagely. After it goes global and Plan L is initiated, the NFL will be no more. It's all XFL after that. And then the XFL is the one football league in the entire world. It's all connected. Danny Garcia, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Vince McMahon, the AAF. It all fucking ties together, people. As you can see here, I have my big board of everything that's kind of just been going on in the background. We have Danny Garcia right here. Dwayne, Danny, divorced, DDD. Is Kirby involved? Is Nintendo of America involved? Is that a hint in Japan? Who fucking knows? COVID was actually the catalyst that caused the NFL to stop, so Fast 13 will involve the XFL. At Fast 7, we got John Cena right here. The Rock somewhere in here. Him, China, involved in all that way. We have the CFL commissioner right here. He's going to be kaput before we even know it. Um, CFL, it's too old. I wonder what else you can make me syrup out of. I'm certain that the CFL, XFL, all these acronyms, all these letters are connected in some way. I'm working on uh, the hieroglyphics right now. Money is the core of all of this. Here's the maroon shirt. France, as you can see, is the pinnacle of this world. The Rock and the NFL partnering. He's eventually going to cover up Goodell. That's why I have it like this here. Arizona Hot Shots. NFL founded in 1920. XFL founded in 2001. Where does that tie into? It ties into right here. 2001 minus 1920 is 81. There was 40 
players on Team 9 in the XFL, plus a head coach. Does that mean that there are going to be two practice teams in this XFL? Does that mean they're going to be a practice team in America and Canada in the next few years? I'm working the kinks out right here. Here we have Vince McMahon. He's the fucking chain holder. He's the one holding this all together. He's the one that started. He's the catalyst right here. Behind that, we have the ELF, USFL, XFL, and NFL. That is seven L's. There are seven leagues, seven continents, 78. Vince McMahon will be 78 in 2023 when the XFL kicks off. And is Vince pulling the strings? Is he the chain master here? I am, I'm working all this out. This is an ongoing investigation. And I'm right here in the middle of it. <sighs> Fuck was that? Listen, folks, I don't know how deep exactly this goes, but it goes deeper than any of us could ever imagine. This shit is about to pop off. 2023 is going to be a year of years. Some may call it a year of reckoning for the sport of football. I am fucking terrified, excited, and horny all at the same time. So, yes, uh, the XFL... World domination plan goes much deeper than I could have ever imagined, much deeper than any of us could have ever imagined. I will be pulling a lot of resources, many gyms, to work on this. And we got the USFL coming up. That's that's exciting. Go USFL. Let's fucking do it. I'm XFL Jim. Thanks for watching, guys. And oh, I need I need something. Hey, yep, yep. I need I need some wings. I, it's, it's, yeah, I know it's not Wing Wednesday. Oh my God. Just give me some fucking. I need, yes, just regular buffalo wings, please. Please. Thank you. And also, find me the guy on where I can find uh, the.